The other day I was in the parking lot at Aldi's and I ran into an old friend of mine. We were talking about dividing fractions and we were trying to explain, I was trying to explain why dividing fractions uh, produces the wonderful keep change flip um, strategy that we teach kids. And it's a little bit hard to explain while I'm staying in the parking lot at Aldi's eyeing the shopping cart trying to get free quarter. So uh, I decided to make a quick video on dividing fractions and here we go. I'm gonna start with some basics here, all right? So four over two really means four divided by two. And what that means is if I start with four, one, two, three, four, and I divide into two groups, each group is now a smiley face, uh, but that's just coincidence. Each group is really worth um, two. So four divided by two is two. So once again, I took four, now I divide it into two groups. How much, what is the value of one of those groups? It is two. That's why four divided by two is two. If I take two divided by four, and I've already done some of these because I thought it was probably a good idea. Let's say two divided by four. So I'm gonna take two and then I'm gonna divide it into four. And now how much are two of them? Well, this is two divided by four. That is half of your total. This one over here, and I'll draw this one out, it says one half divided by two. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with one half, and that's what I actually care about. This one half right here is what I care about. So I want to divide that one half by two. And what's the group, what's the value of that one half? Well, one half divided by two is equal to one quarter. Now, if you look at this, you might say, well, how on earth do you get one half divided by two equal to one quarter? We will get there. We will get there. Let's take a look at this one over here. This one was kind of clever. I, I, I was actually pretty happy when I did this one. So we have three quarters, one, two, three. So I'm only interested in this one, this one, and this one. And I'm going to divide that three quarters into and so now, once again, I'm only really looking at the, these six boxes, those six out of eight. And because I'm dividing it into two, one, two, three, and so now I get three quarters divided by two, and it looks like the answer is three over eight. Well, once again, we'll take a look at this, and we'll take a look at this in one moment. If I have two thirds and I divide by one half, well, here's two thirds. If I divide it into one half, I end up with, and it looks like two thirds divided by one half. And it looks like it's one, two, three, four. It's gonna be, I didn't actually mean to grab that pen. It looks like it's gonna be four out of six, which coincidentally enough, Whoa, wait a second. One, two, three, four. Nope, not four out of six. I'm sorry. Four out of three. Because this is what I'm after. All right, now, now let's get into the nitty gritty here. I have six divided by three, which is two. And the way you can think about this is six over six divided by three can really be written as a fraction, six over three. But remember, fractions can be written as multiplication, six over one times one over three. Well, take a look what I did here. This became six over one. My division became multiplication. And my second number actually became the inverse. Now, that's because I put it down here. So if you have something like this, two thirds divide by, uh, let's say six nines, you could say, well, that's gonna be equal to two over three 
over 6 over 9. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. In order to get rid of this 6 over 9 down here, I need to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 9 over 6. But I can't just multiply the denominator by 9 over 6. I have to multiply the numerator by 9 over, nine over 6. And take a look what happens. 6, this is going to be 6 times 9, which is 54. And that's going to be 9 times 6, which is 54. 54 54 is 1. And I am left with 2 over 3 divided by 6 over 9 is equal to 2 over 3 times 9 over 6. So you can see, I do end up using the reciprocal. And I know this video wasn't wonderful. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to show you is there are three different ways of taking a look at this as to why we end up with the reciprocal. The way I normally explain this is using this method down here. I'm going to do one more example. If I have 3 over 5 divided by 4 over 7, all right? I can rewrite that as a fraction divided by a fraction because, remember, 6 divided by 2 is really just 6 over 2. So that's all I did. I have a fraction or a fraction. Now the thing is, I want to get rid of this fraction down here. So I'm going to multiply this whole big weird fraction. I'm going to multiply it by 1. But I'm not really going to, well, I am going to really multiply by 1. But the way I'm going to make that 1 is I'm going to multiply this. I'm going to multiply it by the reciprocal of the denominator. Because 4 times 7 is 28 and 7 times 4 is 28. So that all becomes 1. And you can see here is my original fraction problem. And here is my new fraction problem, which means that 3 fifths divided by 4 sevenths is equal to 3 fifths times 7 fourths. Anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, I hope you learned something. And that's it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.